All right, what is up, guys? This is G25, and today I'm showing you how to use your iPod, iPhone, or iPad uh, as a USB drive, just in case you don't have one or something. So first of all, you need like a jailbroken iPod, and you need to go to Indicidia. Then you wait for it to load. All right, and then after it's done loading, you just go to Manage, and then Sources, and then. Uh, you go down, you press this little edit button up here, and then there should be like this add thing. And add this source right here, repo.insanelyi.com. And then after you've added that source, I'm not sure if you're going to your iPod. You might have to. I don't really know. But uh, then you go to search, and you type in USB drive. And of course, I already have it. But uh, it should be this very first one that pops up after you download or after you get the source, that source. So just click on it, and then up here it should say install, and then confirm. Um, and then I believe you don't have to respring your iPod yet, but uh, after you've done installing that, you can just go back to your home screen, and um, if you go over there's the that's what the app looks like and then you can just go into it now right so this is the default thing that it comes up with uh, there's drive plus iTunes there's default and drive only now this is for m okay so this is for Mac this is just default I don't really know why that's in there because it doesn't do anything um, and then if you have PC you use Drive Only, and if you have Mac, just use Drive plus iTunes. Uh, I'm going to go to use Drive Only and cancel, just because it's easier to show you this way. Um, now, if you want to get put stuff on your iPod or whatever, you just hit this Create Disk, and then you can uh, pick how much space you want to use on the iPod. Now, I'm going to do like 1.2 gigabytes, just because, and you can name it whatever you want. Like I'm just gonna name it USB drive drive save and then create. Now this will take a few minutes at least, so I'll be back when it's done. All right, and then after it's done, it says virtual disk virtual disks uh, USB drive 1.2 gigabytes. Now uh, this is the part where you have to reboot your iPod or either just turn it all the way off so hold down the power button until it says this and then slide the power off all right and so after you're done rebooting all you have to do is plug in your iPod so I'm gonna do that and uh, as you can see it opens this USB drive and now it's charging um, and all you have to do is open to view files this is Windows 7 by the way um, but yeah, and then you can drag whatever you want, like pictures, videos, music, whatever you want onto this quote unquote USB drive. So uh, that's how you do it. Hope you watched. And uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe.